Hey YouTube, so I had a little mistake with my computer and where I had already recorded this, um, somehow my computer lost or deleted the files or was not able to open them. So I had to make do and kind of create the, the items that you're going to need for this bruschetta recipe. So we'll just do what we can. Anyway, you're going to need basic ingredients that you probably already have in your refrigerator. So we're going to need some 100% um, olive oil or light olive oil, whatever it is that you like. Olive oil is olive oil to me. You're also going to need rice vinegar because this is what I use in my bruschetta. You're going to need some cumin. I love cumin. Best stuff ever. Especially when you're making deviled eggs, that's a good one too. You're going to also need minced garlic or you can have whole garlic. And sometimes I will actually add both. I'll add a little bit of the minced and then I'll add some fresh uh, whole garlic because it gives it such an intense flavor. You're also going to need one onion. You're also going to need some tomatoes, and the tomatoes can be any size you like, plum, uh, these little small tomatoes, or regular Roma tomatoes. You're also going to need lemon juice or lemon or whole lemon, whatever you want. I didn't put it in the picture. I can get it, but, you know, just lemon juice is fine. You're also going to need some fresh cilantro. So that's your basic ingredients. So now my video is going to pick up from when I was cutting tomatoes. So just kind of bear with me and hang in there and enjoy the rest of the video. I rinsed it off, you know, the portion I'm going to use because I'm not going to use the entire bag. So I'm just going to finally chop my cilantro. And then I'm going to add it all into the rest of my mixture. I don't like it too thin. I kind of, I like, I love cilantro. I'm Hispanic, so I love cilantro. I use it in a lot, a lot of my dishes. So it's just a really great... Um, herb to use. I'm also, I might even add a little bit of basil to this because I like basil too. So, like I said, my, my bruschetta is going to be different. I, add, I love adding things to my stuff, so you can do that too. It's whatever you like. You know, it's a free world. You can make it however you like. There's no set standards. Today, everybody makes everything slightly different. So, I am going to go ahead and add a couple of basil leaves. So, I'm going right to take back. some leaves off of my basil plant. Um, I actually brought this at my nearby grocery store. Out here we have Publix, and they sell these, and I love it because it's real expensive to buy basil, but I can buy this plant and um, use it to the life to the time that it goes away. So I take all the leaves off, and it'll eventually die, and I can throw it away. Or I can keep mothering it and gardening it and adding water, putting it out in the sunlight, and it can grow more. So I'm, I do not have a green thumb, so I probably will just use this until it dies, throw it out, and get another one. And it costs about three dollars and ninety-nine cents, so not bad for. Basil that you get a nice sized plant you can use for. So I've grabbed a couple of leaves as you can tell, and I'm gonna go ahead and finally chop those. I'm gonna add that into my bruschetta. So now we're gonna we got all of our condiments all chopped up the way you like it. And don't mind the music in the background, I'm taking it old school. Back in the day, Mariah Carey was very popular, so I'm listening to the old school, having some bruschetta and pasta. It seems very fitting. So anyway, we're going to grab a spoon, and the ingredients are really going to be to taste. That's just how my mother raised me to cook. Everything is to taste. I mean, we measure, but not on everything. When it comes to stuff like this, you're going to just kind of want to use your common senses, your common taste senses, because you know how you like things, so you pretty much can tell. If I put five things of garlic, it's going to be too much garlic, so you want to start out with a few scoops or spoons, and then I'm going to add some cumin. I love cumin. I don't know. It just adds a nice flavor to the bruschetta. And I'm just going to add what I like. I'm going to add some olive oil. And if you really need to have um, specifics on how much, I would say, what, two tablespoons possibly? You may need more because it just depends. I'm going to add some kosher salt. I love kosher salt. You can use any salt you like. I'm going to add that. We're going to start that way. So you're going to go ahead and mix those ingredients together so far. Just evenly incorporate everything. Now I love hot sauce, so I'm in, I am going to add some hot sauce to my bruschetta. And the best hot sauce out there that I love, that just, I don't really like things that are spicy. I love things that have flavor and that really bring out the boost in your dishes. So I'm going to use my old time favorite Cholula hot sauce. 
Yeah. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm just going to put a little bit, you know, because my kids don't like a lot of hot sauce. And I'm going to put a little, I'm going to say on this one, a half a teaspoon of rice vinegar. If you've never had rice vinegar, I can't even describe it. It's really, really a nice, great flavor to vinegar. So I'm just going to add a little bit. We're going to blend that all together. And then we're going to taste it and see how it tastes. See, I love bruschetta. I can eat this right out the bowl and I'll be happy with some crackers. Not crackers, but like Tostito chips too. I can eat it just like this or I can have it on some bread. And lucky me, I made some homemade fresh Italian bread and I just cut them last night and, and I have appropriate, appropriate sizes for this specific dish here. So I'm real excited. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. Now we have Abba playing in the background. I loved her too. All right, let's see. Mmm, that tastes really nice. It's got a really, no seriously, that tastes really good. I'm probably just going to add a little bit more kosher salt, just a little bit, a little bit more olive oil, because I really loved the flavor of olive oil. I'm just going to add just a little bit more cumin. You see, you just want to add what you like in it. This is really perfect, actually. Another thing of rice vinegar. I love rice vinegar. I know I said that, but I just really love it. And maybe a half a teaspoon of more garlic. Wow, this is really good. This came out really great. If you have never used rice vinegar in your, or maybe you don't even use vinegar in your bruschetta, but try it. It gives it such an amazing blend. It's just perfect. If, now, if you hate vinegar, vinegar then don't do it, but because you're not going to like it. But this is yum. Let's try another bite. Wow. Perfect. I really outdid myself this time. So, that's how simple it is to make bruschetta. I mean, and basically, like I said, it's whatever you like. This is what I like. This works for my family, so we're excited. Let me show you my bread real quick. I've got my homemade my homemade Italian bread and it's perfect because I just cut them yesterday so this will be perfect I'm gonna toast this put a nice layer of um, mozzarella cheese and I'm gonna cut into small slices and then I'm gonna top it off with some bruschetta and bake it in the oven at 350 for about five to ten minutes or ten minutes or so and you're done it's that easy anyway enjoy the recipe so I decided to go ahead and you know put a couple of you know slice a couple of pieces and um show you this step because I thought mm, there might be somebody who's never done this step before so you do want to thinly slice your mozzarella cheese or whatever cheese if you're going to use bag cheese which you can use bag cheese I'm not but I just wanted to throw that out there you can if you want to but I'm going to stick to the mozzarella because it's going to be nice and creamy and it's going to be awesome on this bread so basically you want to cut it like I just showed you so take your bread and you're going to maybe even cut a little thinner Oops, I just made a mess of that. Anyway, you're gonna kind of just layer your cheese however you want it. My, some of my girls love cheese and some of my girls don't. You're gonna wanna cover your bread like this and put it on a baking sheet. And you're gonna wanna layer them on the baking sheet and fill up the entire baking sheet. Toast it in the oven, like I said, for five to 10 minutes. And when it's done, I'm gonna come back and show you. So you just put the, you know, the bruschetta on top of the, the bread when it's already done and crispy. And then you serve it, that's it. That's how simple it is. So I just wanted to put that out there because I thought there might be somebody who might not know that one stuff. So that's for that's dedicated to the one person who doesn't know that stuff. <laughs> All right. Be back. Okay, we're about to put the toast into the oven for a good 10 minutes. What I would do so you don't burn this is set a timer. If your stove has a timer, which mine does. And we're gonna set that baby for about 10 minutes. Cause you're not, you don't wanna take the chance of burning it. So we'll wait 10 minutes. Timer's we'll going right off. Back. And here is my bread. We're gonna get that out. And you see, you don't wanna overcook it. Like this is perfect, I think. And see how nice and crunchy it's still smooth. It's got a nice little crunch. We're gonna top it off with some bruschetta and then it's gonna be served for dinner. And that's it. 
So that's what you want, guys. So Enjoy. my bruschetta has been sitting in all these lovely juices. And we're gonna go ahead and, our bread's already done, I showed you that, so now we're just gonna top it off. And as simple as it is, I'm still gonna show it because some people have never done this before, believe it or not. You can use your hands as long as your hands are clean. And that's pretty much how you wanna top it. Very little, very lot, whatever you like. Just wanna have a little bit of everything. And the juices, even if you have a little bit of the juice, what I do is sometimes I'll take the juice and I'll drop it on top, you know? Done and ready to serve. So just put it on the plate and enjoy, guys. Have a great day.